guys, um, this is my what's in my purse video. It's my first video that I'm uploading to my natural makeup, natural skincare YouTube channel. And I hope, anyways, I hope you enjoy. So here we go. Okay, so um, this is I kind of <laughs> I know it's really messy. That's my purse. It's from Charlotte Russe. There's some stuff under there. This is like a hairnet and a that I use. Sometimes to keep my hair neat. Um, it's just a little long hair tie. There we go. And here is just a regular scrunchie that I use sometimes. I'm going to start with my makeup bag that I got from, from Forever 21 the other day. It's so cute. And this is a Hello Kitty um, blindfold that I got at Target. I was going to put it in my boyfriend's little drawer that he has where I put my stuff for when I sleep overnight at his house but I kind of forgot it in my bag here's a homemade foundation with just shea butter and some pigments a honeybee honeybee gardens um, lip pencil in zen a facial brush foundation slash, slash concealer with two ends I really like that because it's good for not carrying too many things in your purse. I got it at Target. This is another homemade thing. It's just an e.l.f. package thingy here. It used to be, I think, was it all? This is all over color stick. And I just used some shea butter and some pigments. And it's really great because shea butter does not break me out. It's basically like a cream thing for lips and your uh, cheeks. Oops. A That Black Vegan Gel Eyeliner from the All Natural Face. As you can tell, I really like the All Natural Face. They're really good. Another The All Natural Face Vegan Foundation in Porcelain Goddess. It's almost like white because I'm so pale and I like... I have a hard time finding pressed powders or foundations that match me. Sometimes I make my own, but... When it comes to pressed powders and powders, I usually stick with the All Natural Face because they have, or My Beauty Addiction, and they have because they have really good pigments for my pale skin. This is an Elf um, vegan eyeliner. It's the shimmery one. I when I bought it, it came with two: one that's shimmery eyeliner, and one that's not. I can't tell the difference honestly. And it has this awesome little um, little sharpener that is really good for you know. When you don't want to carry an entire sharpener for eyeliner and stuff with you. I love that. Dark Plum Mascara from the All Natural Face. Uh, vegan Lengthening Mascara. Now this, I keep it in a plastic bag. It's a kabuki brush from Claire's. To help keep it clean. It's one of the softest brushes I've ever owned. And it doesn't hurt my face like some other ones do. By other ones, I mean the one that I bought from e.l.f. And there was one I got from like a dollar store, and that was terrible. This is not natural at all. The story with this is, I I do a lot, I'm an actress and a model, and I do a lot of auditioning. So I had an audition for a 1940s girl, and I had to appear. Uh, I had to appear after the audition with. I'm showing my face. I had to appear to the audition with my 1940s look together: the dress, the shoes. The hair, which was really hard doing with the victory rolls and everything. And my makeup all done. And I had all my makeup, and then I got to New York. So stupid. I got to New York, and I realized I didn't have my brows done. So I went to nearest CVS or Rite Aid. I think it, it was Rite Aid. And I just bought this, and I just loaded it on in the taxi on the way there. And that's why I have this here. But that's really the only, I guess, unnatural or... I guess not vegan thing that I have. Even those, not all the makeup I have is vegan. Just some, some of it. But that's the only unnatural thing. This wonderful little compact with one zoom and one regular mirror. I got it from Harman's um, Face Values. It's very nice. Very small, which I like. This is another thing that I made. It's I just bought the compact from e.l.f. because it's very small and it's very thin. And it's great for traveling. It's a little foundation thing, basically the same as this one, but it's just smaller. And this sponge I got from Sephora, 
you know, they have little sample sponges. And I just made this by melting down this shea butter and putting a whole bunch of pigments in it from the All Natural Face and just letting it solidify and just throwing it in my purse. It's great for um, when you have have limited space or if you're traveling and you wanna you want to limit the things that you put in your purse because you don't want a heavy purse walking around somewhere. Elf, this is the other lip liner that I got with this one. This is the shimmery, this is the non-shimmery. And it's just the same thing, basically. This is the All Natural Face Vegan Powder con slash Concealer Patina. It's just basically a green correcting powder. This, uh, it's a the All Natural Face Vegan blush in really red. I love, love, love the colors. But, I can all this, all this stuff, I, uh, I filmed a video before of my makeup collection and I haven't cleaned it up. So I gotta do that. Anyways, this, um, I used to wear it a lot on my cheeks as a blush. Come on. And it broke me out quite badly for about three weeks. And I used to wear this along with the Porcelain Goddess um, cream foundation by the All Natural Face. And that broke me out really bad, too. So now I just use this on my lips, but it's beautiful. I love it. I'm wearing it right now, actually. And this is... It's really old, so I know what it is, though. It's My Beauty Addiction Healing uh, Face Powder, Loose Powder in Very Fair Pink. This is the lightest shade that they have and it has the pink undertones. If you go online and check their loose powders, they have a whole bunch of different shades and undertones. I got mine in the lightest shade which is very fair slash pink which has pink undertones. You could choose yellow undertones or neutral undertones and I have pink because I'm kind of a little red sometimes. A whole bunch of bobby pins which are kind of whitish because um, an eyeshadow that I have from the all, actually it's right here, from the all natural face. I used what was, I used basically the whole thing in how, what was left at least, in making this foundation. And, um, I dropped, when I was making it in my kitchen, I dropped the cap and it fell into the stove or somewhere and I don't know where it is. I'll probably find it in like 10 years or something when I don't need it or whatever. And there was like only a little bit of powder left so I just threw it in here. And everything kind of got messy, at least while I cleaned it, except for I didn't clean these. So that's why these are kind of whitish, like that. So that's what that is. And some more body... And that's that, that. Oh, there's one more thing. And here, the All Natural Face Vegan Eyeshadow Primer. It's just a white primer. I use it on my brow bone and my inner corners of my eyes. Oh, hey. That's just medicine. You don't need to know about that. It's just a random uh, erasable pen. Um... The All Natural Face Vegan Eyeshadow Angel Kissed White Gold. That should actually be in here. I don't know why that's over here. This is stuff that I just threw out. A, um, what are these called? Um, Beauty Blender from The All Natural Face. It's their version of it, along with some Q-tips. And this is my awesome little mirror compact with the brush. I don't use the brush that much because I only use combs wide tooth combs on my hair. I, I stopped using brushes a long time ago, but this is in case I have an emergency and I have to brush through my hair, I'll use this. I have this little Altoids thing, which I got at Target at the register. It's kind of, I haven't used it yet. This is a homemade, um, the Patina Green Corrector Powder. Mix with shea butter, let it harden, and just threw it in my purse. Okay, I can't get that open. Uh, a Real Purity. Sample shrimp blush. It's beautiful. I'm afraid if I open though, if I'm afraid if I open it, it's gonna go everywhere. But okay, you can just check online if you want to. This is another. I really like these kind of things. These compact mirrors. This one does not have any zoom. It's just two compact mirrors. And I got it Forever 21 along with my makeup bag. And I love it. It's cute. It's kind of like Valentine's Day because it has a little. Um, like keep it bow things. You know, it's kind of cute. A Burt's Bees lip shimmer called R Herb or something. I don't know how to pronounce that at all. I really like their lip shimmers though. A pen. Okay, 
that. A little wet ones. This, I got this, um, eyeshadow. Oh, eyeshadow. Eyelash adhesive thing. When I went to Comic-Con and I, I had long lashes and I just bought some glue at a Halloween store or something. Or a dollar store, I don't remember. These things save my life. I love these. 100% pure, antibacterial, wood pulp, and hemp oil blotting sheets. Very nice. Some hair ties, some more bobby pins. Um, Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm. This is like a hairnet that I put on top of my on top of my head sometimes. Just um, if I'm not really doing anything and I need my hair to stay neat for whatever reason, I don't feel like <coughs> washing it, then I just put this on. Some hair ties, a wet ones, some um. I love these crunchies. I don't use. I don't use these that much because they have the metal thing and I hate that. I like to use these because I read that they're, um, I've read on the internet that they're really much better for you than the ones with the metal. A eyeliner that I never use, it shouldn't even be in here. Some, a little keychain that I got at a concert. Um, some hairpins and some, what's it called, um, hair ties. This is actually like a little travel kit thingy, along with this, and it is, it's not clinic actually, it's just the bottle, and it has, it has this, this bottle has in it, rose water and glycerin that I got on Vitacost, and this little sample that I got when I got some 100% uh, pure stuff, it's honey almond nourishing body cream. This is a little travel kit thing that I also have. It is wonderful. I love it so much. It has uh, just some shea butter cream from Alafia or something, which is this stuff. It's wonderful. Actually, it's on my face, even though it's called a body cream. It's just a sample of something from Lush. I don't remember what it's called, but it, I don't really use it anymore. Some of these things from Sephora. Some shea butter, just regular shea butter. Some... Raw honey, YS honey, a 100% pure grape, uh, cabernet grape nourishing body cream, a stick that I made. This like I bought this 12 of these on eBay, and I made like a uh, foundation stick out of shea butter and a pink mints. It's kind of like a roll-on concealer or roll -on, not roll-on. Um, you just draw it on. You know what I mean. Okay. And some shea butter that's whipped and it's mixed with pigments. It's like a, I made two of these. Just some, uh, some, uh, honey and some of this shea butter, wa uh, shea butter facial wash that's by that Al Alafia, or however you pronounce it. It's by the same company, but it's a face, um, face wash. Some whipped honey, not whipped, <laughs> whipped shea butter. And just some of the all natural face porcelain goddess powder. And that's for when I sleep over at my boyfriend's house unexpectedly or anything. At least I have my skincare all ready for me. And this is just some shea butter that's just in a bag when I bought it on eBay and I never took it out of the bag. And it just kind of got squished. It used to be a square, like a cube. This I got a while ago. I don't really use it. I've never used it actually. It's just some oil blotting papers from from e.l.f. To remove my makeup, I have Burt's Bees Facial Cleansing Towelettes. You know what this is. My wallet from American Eagle Outfitters. It's three or four years old and it still works and everything. This, this shouldn't be in here. I don't know why that's in there. Okay, that's, I should skip that part. <laughs> um, another, you know what that is. Two pens. And some random tissues, and that's really it. And that's that stuff that was in there. And that's my what's in my purse video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, subscribe if you like. Uh, I'll see you again.